you're regularly taking magnesium but not feeling the benefits, you might be taking it at the wrong time of day. Make sure to stay into the end because we're going to dive into what are the best kinds of magnesiums for specific issues and when to take it. So why is magnesium so important? Why is it an essential nutrient for the brain and body? Well, it's essential because it's used for three to 600 chemical processes every single day. So we need a lot of it. And what's pretty magical about magnesium is, is it really calms the nervous system. It helps lower cortisol and makes people feel good, particularly because it helps you to rest because you're calming your nervous system. It really matters what kind of magnesium you are taking for specific issues and what time of day. And we're going to dive into that. But know that different forms have different effects and all forms of magnesium are great, but you may not need them all, right? Obviously, I'm a big fan of magnesium for the brain. That's why we created our multi-mag, our neurotastic multi-mag formula. But in general, right, and I have three forms of brain versions in this, right? So magnesium L3 and 8 is the only one that crosses the blood-brain barrier, which means it goes directly into the brain. That's why when people take our magnesium, they're like, where has this been my whole life? Um, because it really has a huge impact on how the brain is functioning. Don't worry, we're going to talk about when to take it for what issue. Um, but it is definitely the brain magnesium. So is malate. Malate is a great one for the brain. It doesn't have the same impact in terms of, you know, attention, cognitive function, because it doesn't cross the blood brain barrier. And glycinate also for the brain, also all three are in here, um, but glycinate is really known for sleep, right? So it's really helping to relax the body and prepare you for sleep. And citrate is known for digestive digestion. There are other kinds like magnesium sulfate you have in your bath. I'll be having a bath tonight. When is the best time to take your magnesium. I'm doing this because you all have 1 million questions on it. And I get it, right? You're realizing how important it is. So when you take it, right? So if you're looking to improve your sleep, relaxation, the best time to take it is at night. What I recommend is definitely not taking it more than two hours before bed, but like an hour. And sometimes people tell me like they take this within 10 minutes they are feeling really tired and want to go to sleep. I find that to be quite very much the case for me, but I generally take it within 30 minutes to a, an hour, right? And that's glycinate and L3 and 8. Those are the best ones for sleep. It's lowering cortisol. It is relaxing your muscles, really preparing you for sleep. If you're looking for focus and improving your brain functioning, right? You can still take it at night. People want to always ask, if I take it at night, does it still help me the next day? Yes, because you're regularly taking it, you're going to be sleeping better, and you're going to feel more focused. However, if you're really looking to really up your focus, and maybe there's a little bit of the tenseness to you or your child, you can take magnesium L3 and 8 during the day. Now, you always want to really look at that, right? Because you, for me, I can't take my magnesium for the day because I just run on such a high level that I don't want anything that's going to touch that. I save it all for nighttime. Um, but remember, it's crossing the blood-brain barrier magnesium L3 and 8, so it's going to really improve cognitive functioning. You can sometimes do, we recommend ours that sometimes people do a quarter or a half a dose an eighth of a dose during the day if you're really looking to improve focus or reduce anxiety. You want to increase energy and support your muscles because you work out a lot, or maybe your kid's an athlete, then malate, magnesium malate before workouts helps with the ATP process, which is a process that brings energy to the cells um, and, and makes your muscles perform better, which is kind of cool, right? So sometimes people are using that before a workout, right? Or recovery right after. It's a good one. So you've got somebody who's constipated. Uh, they have digestion issues. Citrate 
is going to be the one to help with constipation. Do not take citrate if you have loose bowels, right? That is not the one for you. This is, you know, the malate, the um, l 3 eight and the glycinate are not known to have digest cause digestive issues. That's what's in here. Um, you can separate out and focus. Always buy your supplements from a high quality place. We poured a lot of love into ours. In general, magnesium citrate, you've got a bowel issue. You want to do it before meals. I really feel that you need to do it on a regular time. So if you're really trying to get your kid, if they're constipated, you want them to poop at night. You really should be, you know, right before dinner, giving them some citrate, then making a routine of definitely have water. I feel like that's a major issue for kids. And then a routine of having a bowel movement in, in the night. And you can really retrain your bowels as to when you have them, right? Maybe you want to add in some foods that help loosen bowels, right? Um, depending on who your kid is, you know, is and what you can do. But it definitely citrate stimulates the bowels and digestion. So think about when you have time for your child to poop and really focus in on that and before food is great. So stress and anxiety, just general stress and anxiety and or you have you know anxiety related conditions, you have OCD, just really dysregulated. I really feel that um, there are two times you need to give it. I feel that you either are doing a full dose of our multi-mag brain formula at night same time, you know, within an hour-ish of going to bed, because again, it's going to lower the cortisol. It's going to really bring you down, help reduce stress levels, make the body be relaxed, deep in the sleep. That alone takes the edge off. But for my anxious people, I think a second dose, quarter dose, a half a dose early in the day is also a good idea, right? And, you know, you want to be careful. Some, some people split the dose and do half and half. Um, some people, like if you really have a sleep problem, you don't want to have less at that dose. You know, I recently had somebody and, you know, they were telling me how dramatic it had helped their child with severe autism, nonverbal, you, you know, an adult. She was like, I'm only doing a half dose. And it's like awesome. And I was like, but he's not sleeping through the night. Why aren't we doing a whole dose? She was like, oh, I didn't know. And I'm like, it says it right on there. But she's so adorable. And so upping that really made a difference. Um, and you always want to go low and slow when you start with these things because you don't want any bowel um, side effects. Even the ones that don't have a bowel side effect, if you're sensitive, could do that. So what are some tips for absorption, right? So in general, certain ones you want to take with food, particularly citrate, right? You don't have to worry about taking mine with or without food. Um, it Magnesium Buddy is vitamin D, pairs really well with vitamin D and B6. It improves absorption when you do that at the same time. Now, don't go cuckoo because if you know vitamin D is fat soluble, as long as it's in your system, you're good. B6 is a nice vitamin to take at night. Now, you want to always check with your provider and, and see what works best for you because everyone's individual, right? We want to avoid calcium because they will compete for absorption. And I mean avoid calcium at the same time. It's not going to matter if you're having high calcium foods, but they will, you know, compete. The key to magnesium is being consistent. So, you know, I take mine every night before I go to sleep. I went up last night and I forgot it. I got myself down because I said, I'm not going to sleep as well if I don't have this. I need it. I need it for relaxation. So consistency is key. If you want to know more about our magnesium, you can go to drrosanne.com forward slash magnesium and you can order this amazing product, my only product, because <laughs> I'm so serious about magnesium and you can start feeling calmer today. I love magnesium and always check with your provider, but everybody needs it.